Hey yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here. Here we have the long-awaited Courier Cat Guide. We will be going over how to actually obtain the ancient egg that evolves into Courier, how to actually evolve Courier, get those behemoth stones, what stages to grind, when those stages come out, and everything like that. And we'll also be diving into each specific culling stage, well almost all of them, and showing that it is possible with level 25 units and no ubers at Into the Future Chapter 1. Now before we even get into how to obtain Courier Cat or true form into Courier Cat, we first gotta talk about how you actually get the base unit, which is Ancient Egg N101. It's a complete free-to-play unit that you could obtain by just doing some missions, and those missions are the Catnip Challenge missions, of course. You don't know what that is here's a look at them so in order to obtain ancient egg n101 you gotta clear five behemoth culling stages and here's the other examples there so all you have to do is clear five stages it doesn't have to be in the same area it could be two stages from like the desert and three stages from the hidden forest it doesn't have to be five stages in one area it could be split among the two. Also, repeating a stage that you've already cleared in that area does not count towards the mission. It has to be a new clear. So once you do clear five behemoth stages, behemoth calling stages, then you unlock the mission or you complete the mission and you unlock the egg. Ancient Egg N101, which eventually evolves into Courier Cat. Now, before we get into that, Let's actually talk about the behemoth culling stages. So before we actually hop into the stage guys, let's talk about how to actually catch these stages and what they actually are. So these are just regular event stages that show up on different times. And all you gotta do is click the schedule right beside your user rank. And what you can actually do is set up notifications for when these stages appear so you don't have to keep looking out for them every time. Like I have the XP stages and some blitz stages here on my notifications but right there you can see the behemoth culling event and these are the ones you gotta clear five stages total across either of these events the hidden forest or the desert and if you're in into the future 3 there's gonna be another one here as well yeah if you have managed to clear into the future 3 you'll have access to Jin 4 volcano which will also show up here but I recommend just doing Hidden Forest and Desert since they are the easier ones here. Now if you scroll further you can actually see when these stages appear, exactly what time and how long they stretch out for, and it will show in your time zone so do not stress about that. And as you can see there's the desert at 19. So take a look at these times and try to remember them even though you do set up the notifications, you might forget about them and maybe you might ignore them. So looking at these schedules might help out trying to catch these stages way easier because they are very important if you aren't able to clear the hunter's maps, which I'll talk about later in the video. But they do give a pretty nice time window of 4 hours, so you shouldn't be missing too many events related to the Behemoth Stones. Like, I rarely play Battle Cats. The only time I really play is when I record, and I was able to catch these stages very easily, even if I was doing them like once or twice a week, I was still able to rack up Behemoth Stones very easily, and was able to get Courier quickly and before even completing Into the Future Chapter 2 without utilizing any true forms or ubers. So all this talk about behemoth culling stages, but what even is the point? What is behemoth stones even for? Well, Courier or the Ancient Egg does not require cat fruits to true form. You actually need behemoth stones, and the only way to get these behemoth stones is by clearing these behemoth culling stages, or by doing another method I'll talk about later in the video. But for now, let's talk about these behemoth stones and how to actually get them. So for Courier Cat, you're gonna need 5 red stones and 5 purple stones. And the way you get these is from their behemoth culling stages. They drop either purple stones or red stones. Now, either of them drop the red or purple stone. The thing about it is, 
Other than your first clear, it might be very annoying trying to grind stones from these stages because the drop rate is very low. It is extremely low. Most of the time, you're either going to be getting beast bones or just gold. So it's not really recommended to solely grind these stages for behemoth stones because the chances of you actually getting that stone you actually need to true form to core your cat is extremely low and not efficient at all. There is a quicker way to do this, but before we do get into the Hunter's Map and all of the Enigma stage stuff, let's first get over these Behemoth Culling stages. Let's go into the guide for each stage and pretty much just wrap up the whole for these Behemoth Culling stages. Then we'll move on into how to actually farm these stones because half of the part is just clearing five stages to get the ancient egg and then it's the real part for grinding those stones and that won't be simple if you just keep repeating the behemoth stages over and over again because it's not grindable it is only a one-time clear and that's it you just gotta wait for the next time it shows up now let's start with just a basic line up here so of course the minimum is four stallers or meat shields, and then the rest is just pretty much ranged attackers. Very helpful using attackers that outrange that red duck that does become a huge problem later on, but you'll quickly realize that the duck is not really the big threat in this stage, it is the doges, but we still do want to stack a good amount of DPS, so make sure you bring things like dragon cats, drama cats, or craze dragon, stuff that could just outrange the duck from a safe distance and stack up. Bath cat is helpful if you don't have row cats true form and you're not able to tank. And of course, if you have access to true forms, then do use them. If you have access to ubers, use them. Replace Bahamut, replace Ududun Wolf. You don't have to use them, they're just there to let you know that it is possible with these units and if you have better units do use them stuff like sushi cast true form is great for all of the stages including the hunter's map stage pizza can help out tremendously in this stage as well and other ranged attackers cameraman can help with those extremely annoying doges in the way if you don't want to rely on crazy UFOs weak HP. Also, do try to avoid crowd control units here because most of the time it won't go great because the main boss, in quotation marks, of this stage is immune to most of the crowd control effects, so it doesn't really matter bringing that, and the wild doges aren't really affected either unless you do have like specific behemoth counters which I don't really expect you to have if you are watching this video. So just keep that in mind. I highly just recommend a burst damage lineup or just stackable attackers like Dragon and Drama Cats, the two main ones. As an example here, we're going to go into the Woodlands Area 4. Now, Rich Cat is pretty crucial in a lot of these stages because it is not a base hit stage most of the time in these Behemoth Culling events and even the Hunter's Map. So Rich Cat is extremely helpful and almost a must if you're using low levels like me. So yeah, if you are using below level 30 units and you have not done Into the Future Chapter 2 or 3, you don't have Ubers, then just bring a Rich Cat. It'll make your life way easier. Trying to handle these doges with low level units is a brutal pain. So to just make your life easier, bring Rich Cat. It is a worthy investment to get Courier Cat. You're not wasting Rich Cats here. Rich Cats are also very easily farmable from Blitz stages and just the regular Monday stage. But yeah, as far as strategy goes, it's pretty much a simple stacking strategy. You just want to stack up as much attackers as possible. In this stage specifically here, the Angel enemies do push pretty hard with the Doges. So having something like Artist or Ramen can help out tremendously. Once again, if you have Cameraman, it could help out immensely in a situation like this against both of these enemies. And all you really want to do is just stack up as much attackers as possible. Your ranged attackers like Dragon, Pizza, Dramacast, Bathcat, if you're using it, 
and your Ubers. But remember not to rely too heavily on your Ubers because they can just get completely wiped off the map. And if they do, and you don't have other attackers to back them up, then you're just going to get run over very easily. So just keep in mind that your Ubers or your Legends can get wiped off the map at any moment. So make sure you do have some backup attackers, like a nice Dragon stack, a nice Drama Cat stack. If you are like me, you can use Bath Cat. I know people like to trash on Bath Cat, but it is helpful if you are using a very bootleg lineup like this. But hey, if you have Row Cat, then you don't need Bath Cat. If you have Cameraman, you pretty much don't need Pizza Cat or Crazy UFO or Crazy Whale to handle some of the close range peons. But yeah, as you can see, once you've built up a stack and you hit the base, or if it's not a base hit stage, the douche, or not the douche, the red duck here is gonna pop out eventually, so you just want to be ready for that. That's why Rich Cat is so important. And look at that, just like that, Bahamut is just completely wiped off the field. But we do have some dragons there and Bath Cat there to help support and clean up some of these peons that are in the way. Now, it is a little bit RNG related if you are using extremely low level units like we are. But just keep in mind, if you're really struggling, then I just recommend upgrading your units to level 30. And in this situation, just bringing Drama Cats instead of something like Bath Cats or Ring Girl will tremendously help. The more ranged stackers you have, the easier you'll go by in these stages. The duck's standing range is at 250, so a lot of ranged attackers like Dragon Cat, like Drama Cats, and like all of pretty much all of the Ubers can outrange it. But just keep in mind it does have LD, so it can hit up to 350 range or 351 range. So Try to aim for units that stand above that 351 range, or even just the 350 range can work in some situations, but it is very risky. That is exactly why units like Dragon and Crazy Dragon with their 400 range can sit at a safe distance, and stuff like Drama Cats with 355 range can sit at a safe distance, and even Bath Cat at 400 range can chill at a safe distance and just get stacks and multiple hits off. And as you can see here, even without Bahamut and Urudun Wolf alive, we're able to maintain a nice flow because we have a stack and we're building up towards another stack with just our ranged attackers. So do have your ranged attackers that outrange the duck, but also keep some units that control the peons. Like in this situation, I have Ring Girl here for just clean up on the wild doges if they do happen to get too close, and stuff like Crazy UFO, Cameraman, even Rogue Cat can work out decently well. But yeah, for this stage, having Bath Cat here did tremendously speed up the second half of this level where you're just facing the duck alone because Bath Cat has that nice standing range and is able to dish out a lot of burst damage on top of it. But yeah, there is the first stage for Hidden Forest, well the fourth stage. And since this is the fourth stage, you can pretty much apply this to all the previous stages as well. But for the previous stages, some of them you won't even need Rich Cat, so yeah. That is the only thing that doesn't change here. Other than that, it is pretty much the same. Just stack up your ranged attackers. Try to handle the peons well with units like Crazy UFO, Cameraman, Pizza, Paris, stuff like that to just handle the doges and the other peons. Then you have the other things for the duck. Now the hidden forest is very simple and you might be able to do some of those stages even right after Empire of Cats 3. But for the desert, things get a bit tricky here and Badlands 3 is what I recommend going up to for the desert. Anything further, you're gonna need some treasures or some heavy uber or true form carry. For the levels we have and the units we're using, Badlands 3 is as far as we can go. And even at 3, we are still struggling just a bit. And Rich Cat is a must on this stage for what we have. Because it is not a base hit stage, so as you can see, Duck is already here and we're already getting bombarded by peons and these damn 
buffed up doges, which is aids without courier. So yeah, rich cat is pretty much a must for this. But compared to hidden forest, the peons on here are much worse. You got Aku Goris in here, which have savage blows, I'm pretty sure, and that could end up very horrible. Wild doges plus the Aku Goris just savage blowing on your main attackers is brutal. So yeah, I had to pull out drama cats for this one. So no more bath cats on this. Drama cats is overall much better, but for stages like the hidden forest, Bathcat is much more reliable because the peons aren't that much of a threat. Over here, we need drama cats for that overall just better general use because these gories can be a pain if you do not handle them quickly. And just like that, you can see Erdodun Wolf was overwhelmed there by that gory wave. The doge came in and then the duck moves up and just kills Erdodun Wolf very easily. That is why it is so important to not completely rely on one or two attackers like your ubers and build up a stack like we are right here with stuff like dragon and drama cats or other ranged attackers that outrange the duck. But yeah, the one downside of not using bath cat is the battle lasts way longer against this duck because it does get by through your peons in some cases. Like, even with Cube Cat here, and if you don't even have Cube Cat, then you could just use Cat Burger or just regular Macho. It does not really matter too much. But yeah, it could still push through if you do not have that extreme precise timing for your meat shields. So keep that in mind. But yes, the general strategy is no different than Hidden Forest. The main thing you'll quickly realize is. The Badland stages or the Desert stages are much more troublesome compared to the Hidden Forest. So just get prepared for them and in this stage, even like this, we were able to get by without Rich Cat because we are using some nice peon clearing units like Ring Girl and Drama Cats plus Crazy Legs for just extra wave damage. In place of that, you can use just Cameraman or any other way better general attacker. But yeah, the main unit here is Ring Girl for those dark autos and also for just handling those doges. And the rest is just stacking up against the duck and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the same thing once again, just stack up your attackers, make sure you are prepared for when duck comes out though. So yes, while Levels might not be too important, I do recommend above level 25. The main thing is the core units, the key gacha units, some crazed cats here, like if you don't have Sushi's true form, Crazed Whale is an excellent substitute that can fulfill a similar role. If you don't have great nuker ubers or just burst damage ubers, Using stuff like bath cats and other ranged attackers is just way better as well. I'll remind you here once again, if you did skip here, relying on your ubers too hard for these stages will end up in misery because they can just get completely one shot. Unless you're using like some hard carry ubers, but even then, to completely rely on them solely is very dangerous. You do need some backup attackers and stackable units. Even if it is just Crazed Dragon, it does help out tremendously. So yeah, do keep that in mind. It isn't all uber power here. The main carry is stuff like Drama Cats, Dragon Cat, and even Row Cats. And in this example, we're using Crazed Whale as a substitute for Row Cat and it pretty much fulfills the same role as Rollcat in this stage and in the other stages as well. So if there was one thing to take away from these Behemoth stage guides, it is Drama Cat, Dragon Cat, and Rollcat, and Crazed Whale. The key gashas strike again. Now, you've cleared five stages from either the desert or the hidden forest, You've obtained the Ancient Egg, it's level 30. Now you're missing some Behemoth Stones and you're getting very unlucky trying to get them from the Behemoth Culling Stages. 
What do you do now? Q Enigma stages. And if you don't know what Enigma stages are, these are certain stages you can unlock or obtain from just playing stages in Stories of Legend, or UL even, or just event stages. The more energy you spend, the higher chance you do have to obtain an Enigma stage. And once you get an Enigma stage, it spends a couple hours decoding it, and then you can uncover it, and then play the stage and see what you get. Now, I know it does sound like just another RNG fest, but trust me, it is way more reliable than trying to get those behemoth stones from the behemoth culling stages itself. Because all you have to do is just go about your regular grind, wherever that may be. If that's XP, go ahead. If that's cat fruits, go ahead. While you're doing these XP cat fruits or just SOL stage grinds, you'll be able to rack up these Enigma stages very quickly. And if you notice, you might get these special stages, the Hunter's Maps. And these drops guaranteed Behemoth Stones when you clear them. Now do keep in mind that you do not get Enigma stages from Treasure Grinding in other chapters. It has to be in Legend stages, whether that be SOL, UL, XP events, cat food events, or just monthly events, or any other events in SOL. Energy spent on the main chapters does not give Enigma stages, so keep that in mind. A quick way you can just quickly grind up some Enigma stages or just obtain them by not trying too hard to get them is just grind XP stages. They are high energy costs and the chances of you getting Enigma stages from those high cost XP stages are very nice and it, it stacks up because the more XP you spend without getting Enigma stage, the higher your chance gets. So there is eventually like a pity you reach. So after a certain amount of energy, you are pretty much guaranteed an Enigma stage. Now, if you really want to grind these Enigma stages and try to get these Hunter's Maps, that is what the stages are called for these stone forest stages where you get these behemoth stones. If you want to try to grind for these Hunter's Maps Enigma stages, a very boring but efficient way is just repeating a low energy cost SOL stage over and over again until you eventually get some enigmas and the max enigmas you can get or hold in a day is four so once you have four then you could stop but yeah there is a way to grind enigmas and that is just repeating low energy cost SOL stages so if that is a thing you want to do you can do that I did not actually do that Surprisingly, I was just able to naturally get the Hunter's Map from the Enigma stage drops, and just like that, I was able to quickly get Courier with ease. Now, as far as the stages itself go, as you can see, it is not too simple and straightforward. Some of these, or probably both of these stages, are more difficult than the Behemoth Culling stages. But with just the help of Rich Cat, it becomes so much easier because it's not a base hit stage and the Red Duck shows up right away. And that is the biggest difficulty jump from the previous stages because it is immediately you're right into the battle. So Rich Cat is pretty much a must here. But if you were paying attention, you would see how you are handling this right now. It is by just stacking up our attackers right now and then sending out the legends. Or if you really want to just start out with your uber or your legend, like you have enough cash, the red duck is approaching your base, you send out Urdun Wolf. Just make sure you have enough cash to properly stall and meat shield, otherwise the doges will push extremely hard through and it'll just lead to your Urdun Wolf getting completely obliterated. And don't just send out your Uber alone in there, or your Legend alone in there. Like, with Urdun Wolf, we had the support of our Dragon stack. So, 
Maybe stack up a bunch of cameras to help out your Uber. Stack up dragon cats, stack up drama cats, have something there, crazed whale, row cat, to just hold some ground and clear some of the peons so you get some more cash and you can start stacking up quickly without risking your main damage dealers dying. Well, your big time damage dealers like your ubers or your legends. Because while they aren't the most important part of these stages, they still play a very huge role. Because without them, this would take way too long, and eventually you will get overrun. So having that nice, huge burst of damage, that's why Bathcat is such a nice unit for a lot of these stages. You will need to manage those peons. That is the most important thing in all of these stages. Those wild doges are brutal. So keep an eye out on them at all times and make sure you have a supporting attacker out at all times as well. Because if Bahamut was just alone here in this situation, you see the next wave of peons is arriving and let's say a wild doge is arriving there as well. Bahamut is just dead completely dead. I mean, even without the wild dose here, and Bahamut is really pushing it near the edge. So yeah, that is the most important thing throughout all of these stages. It is the supporting cast, the supporting lineup, your ranged stackable attackers. That is the most important thing. Also, the camel in this stage is not too troublesome because it is not extremely boosted. So if you have stuff like Crazed Whale or even Crazed Dragon can handle it. And if you have Rokat, then it'll handle it very easily. But yeah, just like that, we're able to beat the Purple Stone Forest. And from these Hunter maps, it is guaranteed drops. But yeah, we put out there because it is a one-time clear. So we can showcase the Redstone side. But yeah, it is pretty much the same thing. It is a... Not base hit stage, but on timer, so you do have to get ready. But this stage is much more brutal because it has a wild doge spam. So if you don't have cameraman, you don't have drama cats, you don't have ring girl, those high health attackers, you're gonna have to rely on stuff like Paris and Crazy UFO, which is extremely risky and not too reliable for stages like this. So yeah. Drama Cats, Dragon Cats, pairing it with like Ring Girl and other attackers is very helpful for that early abusive spam that happens in the beginning because there's like no other way to handle them. Bahamut can handle them in the beginning, but after that point, Bahamut is just getting completely run over. So yeah, having a good supporting cast is crucial for this stage and pretty much all of these behemoth stages. And in this stage, as you can see, what we did here was cycle our legends. So at initially, we started with Bahamut to just clear up some of the doges quickly and try to get some nice damage off. And then we moved on into Ududun Wolf here at the end to finish it off. But of course, nothing lasts too long in this stage or any of the behemoth stages because those wild doges are brutal. And when you have Duck pushing at the same time, it's just like nothing can last. So burst damage is the way to handle a lot of these stages since crowd control does not work most of the time. Only weaken and knockback work and that's not too reliable here unless you have some great ubers that can utilize those abilities. Do not be discouraged if you aren't able to clear these stages first try because it does take a bit of tries like for these hunters maps specifically the second one here, it took a few tries because our units are just so low level and dealing with those wild doges is brutal with such low level units. Easier way out is while you're grinding those cat fruit stages and XP stages and getting your units true form, you'll naturally get enigma stages and then you'll be able to clear those very easily with all of your true forms and such. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up the your guide. We talked about how to get the ancient egg, we talked about how to evolve it and what stages to look out for, we talked about the behemoth stones and how to get them, we talked about how to grind the behemoth stones from enigma stages and how to grind the enigma stages. 
So yeah, lots of info is in this video. Do make sure to absorb most of it and all of it if you can. It will help you out. And if it didn't help you out, let me know why. If you have some tips for the people struggling down below, drop a comment, help them out if you do want to. If there are people in the comments asking for help, and if you are asking for help in the Discord as well, you can go there and ask for help. But yeah, we're just level 25 units, no Ubers, only in Into the Future Chapter 1, and some dedication you are able to obtain for your cat pretty easily. But yeah, that's it. It's been John Blue and see you.